Hey everyone, this is Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and I am excited to come to you today with a video showing a bunch of the new features in Persona Studio One version 5, which is brand new. It just released. You can find out more about it at personas.com. And there's a bunch of re uh, really cool new features in Persona Studio One 5. We've been lucky enough to check it out here over at Obedia. And so we wanted to showcase some of these new features for you. There's a lot to cover, so I'm just going to dive right in and show you a bunch of new features. There's probably some things that we're going to cover more in future videos. And so you'll want to, of course, always just keep your eye on our YouTube channel for more and more information. And if you want to get help and training in Persona Studio One, give us a call at Obedia and we can help you out to get to know Studio One. So with that said, the one other thing I should mention is that some of these features, uh, the look of things, etc., might change a little bit uh, because remember, I do have an earlier version of Persona Studio One 5. So if yours looks a little different, have no fear. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Now that said, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at some of the new features in Persona Studio One version 5. The entire suite of native plugins in Persona Studio One 5 have been completely given an overhaul, a facelift. They've been refreshed and many of them given new features, including a sidechain function on dynamic plugins such as the Pro EQ Squared. This is the evolution of Pro EQ. You're also going to find new features on the limiter. You're going to find brand new, clean, and awesome interfaces on plugins such as the Chorus. On the analog delay and also on the rotor and tricomp plugins, you'll find state space modeled drive state for natural analog saturation and I will be covering all of this in another video to show you all of these cool new plugins their features their new clean interfaces and etc but suffice to say all of these plugins now fit right in with the studio one look they've got new features and they're going to help to speed up your workflow as well in the world of recording and mixing in Studio One 5, there's a lot of cool new features. We've got extended mixer scenes, allowing you to save all of the functions and features on your mixer and recall them at a later date. Aux channels, right click, select the option Add Aux Channel. Aux channels allow any external audio source to be fed into the Studio One mixer without the need to create an audio track that can clutter your session. There's also a new option for sync to external devices. This is going to allow you to sync external MTC and MMC to external devices. That is going to let you control Studio One using those external devices. There's the Listen Bus, which I can access by right-clicking on the console and selecting the option for Enable Listen Bus. This is a dedicated bus. It adds flexibility to the console. Uses it to You can use this to provide a control room feed independent of the main output with its own level control, solo controls, in slots and room calibration plugins and etc. That's another really cool new feature. There's now the option for 64-bit float wave recording and playback in Studio One 5. This allows you to record with 64-bit floating point wave format which is the recommended recording format for audio interfaces with 32-bit converters. With this option, the maximum recording and processing precision now reaches 64-bit and 384 kilohertz. So if you really like high-resolution recording, you're going to be able to get it very easily in Studio One 5. Looking to the new arrangement and editing features, in Studio One 5, the first big one of major mention is the fact that notation and the ability to write standard notation is now built into Studio One. This is based on Personas' award-winning Notion software, which we also do train folks in uh, its usage over here at Obedia. So if you have ever wanted to write standard notation in Studio One, this is your uh, ability to now do it. Cool thing as well is that everything that I am writing in my uh, staff right there is turning into uh, MIDI immediately. So folks oftentimes ask me about how it is that they can convert uh, notes on a staff to MIDI, and if you do that in Studio One writing on the staff, you immediately have the MIDI that represents that. This is going to be very useful for folks who are using Studio One for composition, especially for film with classical instruments and etc. You now have the ability to use clip gain envelopes on each of your clips. I'm going to right click on my clips and I'm going to tick the box next to gain envelope. When I make use of gain envelopes, this is going to allow me to adjust the gain independently on each of my clips. So this is great for being able to do quick volume pull-ups and pull-downs and things along those lines uh, without having to make use of automation. Typically you would need to use an automation uh, pull in order to be able to do that, such as pulling a fader down or pulling it up or something along those lines. But by making use of clip gain, you can 
uh, program in your gain changes directly on the clip itself. So I'll just play this back for you real quick. So you heard that right there, my drums pulled uh, down at the specific point at which I made that change in the clip gain. So that's a very cool option uh, for folks who want to be able to do quick and easy edits directly on the clip. I love this for being able to edit drums because that way if I know that there's just a certain point I have to pull down ever so slightly, I can do that directly on the clip rather than having to use automation to do it. You'll also find key switch support in the editor, the MIDI editor now. Uh, this is also going to support editing and mapping. Uh, key switch articulations basically allow you to be able to, with compatible virtual instruments, utilize different articulations with a virtual instrument. So that's something very useful for those who are uh, composers out there using Studio One. Uh, you'll also find poly pressure and MPE support. That's MIDI polyphonic expression with compatible MIDI hardware and virtual instruments. That's going to depend on the hardware and the software. Uh, Melodyne Essential 5 integration is built into Studio One 5 as well. We'll be talking about that in a future video. There is a new time stretch uh, option that you're going to find in the inspector under the time stretch section. It's called Tape Resampler. And uh, this allows you, when you have the time stretch option set, the audio tempo and the pitch are locked for a natural sounding tape style tempo tracking. There is also a marker track inspector, which is a very cool new feature. And the marker track inspector allows you to see all of your markers uh, in the inspector. And you can also jump to your markers using the selector just to the left of the name of that marker. And you can rename the marker by double clicking on it as well. And the final really big thing to mention uh, in Studio One 5 is the brand new show page. And the show page is new, added to Studio One 5, and you're going to find uh, a lot in the show page. We're going to do a separate video to cover everything uh, that the show page does, but suffice to say, it is a quick and easy way to use Studio One on stage for playing live and etc. This is a really cool new way to approach uh, jumping into the world of using Studio One on stage. I think a lot of folks have always wanted to use Studio One on stage, and this is going to be a really cool new way to do it, so we will cover this in a future video. Also, for those of you who are using Persona Studio One Artist, a really cool new feature is that Studio One Artist is now going to support uh, VST2, VST3, and audio unit plugins. Uh, only the 64 bit ones, but you now are going to be able to use those plugins in Studio One Artist. Previously, there was an add on you needed to purchase for Studio One Artist to be able to use those plugins, but you don't need to do that anymore. Rewire support is also included, and Studio One Remote support is also included in Studio One Artist. So those are all some really cool new features of the software. And there you have it, everyone. That is a look at Persona Studio One version 5. Now remember, this is a early release that I'm working with right now. So some features may change, some things may be added, and etc. So you'll just want to keep your eye on our YouTube channel, as always, for new features and more in Persona Studio One version 5. And remember, if you'd like a great computer to use Persona Studio One on, then you want to check out our great pro audio PCs at PCAudioLabs.com. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one training in Persona Studio One, then you'll want to give us a call, of course, at Obedia, where we help you to tame your technology and get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. That's what we do best at Obedia. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.